today, we're gonna be taking the Razer powertrain and all the performance parts, putting it on this brand new SX500 that I got. Brand new to me, obviously not brand new. I mean, yeah, definitely not the best condition, but this thing does not work. This is how I got it. Not sure what I'm gonna do for plastics, but first let's clean this all and strip the powertrain to get ready to put this powertrain in it. I know this is like a rare first generation frame, but I mean, it's small, can't really do much with it. And you see the current condition of it. Let's just throw the parts on this bigger frame and have some fun. Let's clean this off and then we're gonna take it apart. Okay, so I got it cleaned and everything. I brought this bike in here. I think we're gonna just take these plastics, put them right on. It's not gonna fit the best, but that's really all I can do right now because I obviously don't have plastics for a seat. But first, let's completely strip this bike. We've got the frame fully stripped. I am gonna keep the stock front brakes because I don't have front brakes for it and stock ones I guess are better than none. Got the motor stripped, got the battery stripped, got everything stripped out. We're gonna upgrade the chain. We're gonna put all the parts in. So let's start stripping that bike. So I've gotten my razor almost completely stripped. This thing is so dirty. I'm gonna redo this wiring harness because yeah. But here's the SX500 so far. These are the original plastics, that's not gonna work. So I think I'm just gonna run the seat and mount it somewhere over here. And it'll be a little weird with no plastics, but I think it'll be fine. Let's continue taking this apart. This motor is actually gonna be pretty difficult to get out. So I'm just gonna lock in and try to get it out and I'll update you later. Okay, so I've gotten everything out. We got motor, got the controller, battery, grips, throttle, plastics. Gotta get a few more parts, but yeah, got everything here. So I'm gonna clean all the electronics before we put them in and clean everything. Went through, cleaned the motor up, cleaned the controller up a little bit, redid the foam on the battery. So it's re-foamed and protected. And let's start throwing this stuff into the frame. Went through and organized this wiring harness a bit and just cleaned up all the wiring. Uh, I know it's electrical tape together, but these are the wires I don't use. So I just kind of put them off to one and just went over everything. Yeah, it looks really bad, but I mean, it'll keep it together and keep it good. So let's start throwing this into the bike. So we basically got everything mounted, just need to put the motor in now. Okay, after a whole bunch of work, we finally got the motor in. I'm only running two mounts, but I'm gonna do something and it'll make it work. This is the stock H35. It's in rough condition, but it still works. I think if I clean it, it'll be fine. So I'm actually gonna run the stock sprocket because running the newer, bigger chain that I have, I don't know if it's gonna fit. Now let's switch out this brake rotor and take off this cover and fix it all up. So let's take this wheel off. ahead and got the chain on i'm gonna use the stock chain it is pretty rough shape but i'm gonna try to clean it up worst case i can just put an upgrade kit like an h35 kit on it i do have the motor in but because that's all together this thing is working so let's take a little test ride so only the front brakes work and the chain's a little weird but it does go we do have a really low gear ratio on this because i'm running stock stock i think is 9 to 65 so we are going to have some good torque on it so there we go. So let's continue throwing this back together. For that short little test ride, the chain definitely needs adjusted and we 100% need brakes. So let's put these brakes on. 
Okay, so I got it tidied together. It is definitely very, very janky. Uh, got a seat on, uh, got everything kind of wired together. It's okay, but it does work. So yeah, let's take it out for a little ride. I was about to go take this thing out for a test drive. What the hell? My brakes just disintegrated. Oh my God. Guess we got no rear brakes now. The guy who gave me this bike also messaged me and told me he had the plastics too. So I ran over there real quick to go get the plastics. Just came all the way back and picked up the plastics and I have the side cover down there. So we are in business. Okay, I just slid the plastics on. So let's go through and bolt it all down. There we go, we got the plastics on. As you can see, you can see the controller up in there, but everything is like really sealed in. It looks pretty stock. I forgot to film it, but I upgraded it to T8F, so I put T8F rear and front sprocket on and a chain, so this chain will not snap and be stronger than the stock one. Let's take this thing for a little ride. Before we go for a ride, I'm going to go over the cost of this entire build. I'm running a 2 kilowatt Fevora motor. I'm only running the motor, but that's it. Then I'm running a camo 48 volt 20 amp hour battery, not a bad battery. And I bought it for a little cheaper than this. And then a Ford Driver 72 300 to push more power and be more reliable. And some Shimano 4 piston hydro brakes so I can wheelie really nice. Okay, since the last time you've seen this bike, I've done a few things. I changed the rear sprocket, put a little bit bigger one on it because there was just too low of a gear ratio. I do need a new chain. This chain is really chopped. Um, and I put my display on it. This is a plug and play display, works on Ford Driver and Vevor controllers. Uh, I actually sell it on Razeron.com, my website, so definitely go check it out. Completely plug and play, and it just mounts like that and shows you your battery and your voltage. But I'm here with a uh, stock 650, and let's rip. I did kind of learn wheelies on this, as I almost loop. Um, I did learn wheelies on this. Don't mind my key switch right now, uh, I'm getting a new one. I do have the hydro brake on it, so it's easy. But yeah, we're gonna go for a little street ride. I actually do like the free wheel on this. I think I'm gonna keep it for now because it just, it just goes, it coasts, it's really nice. And then in wheelies, I can like, see how nice it coasts like that. That was a pretty crappy wheelie, but I'll try to pop it up here. This thing does need more power. On this little bit bigger frame, it, it does need some more power, but it's fun. It does nearly 40 miles an hour. It does like a comfortable like 38, almost 40. I've actually put quite a few miles on this. I'm probably at nearly 100 miles. And on this little 20 amp hour battery, I'm getting about 22 miles of range, which is honestly really good for this little bit of a battery. This thing does wheelie really nice. The balance point is just there. It's amazing. It's just I'm on a dirt tire, so it leans a bit. The wheelie's really nice. And I can like, I can almost fender drag it. And that was not close, but I like this little bike. Needs some more power, because like this is full pin. Here I'm trying to fender scrape, but I actually do end up getting it. Just gotta drop it back another inch. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Ooh, I know. Yes! Dude! Ow! Threw up my back. I fender scraped it. I, I kinda looped. I kinda looped. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey! That was a yeah. clean fender scrape. Ooh, my phone is gonna die. Oh, my phone's on 1%. Okay, phone's on 1%. Okay, 11, 20, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33. I mean, we're going uphill right now. 35, 37, 38. Okay, my phone's on 1%, so it's probably going to turn off. And the acceleration isn't terrible. 22. 27, 32, 36, 38, 39, 40. Yes, 40 miles an hour. There you go. And that's not even too, too much of a hill. So, hell yeah. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are getting pretty close to 6K, so definitely subscribe and let me know what videos you want to see with this bike. And bye.